Hi, in the next few minutes we're going to explore the differences between three popular CSS frameworks. So you can see the three different comparisons we're going to make are Bootstrap, Materialize, and Zurb Foundation. All three of these will make your website design easy and look great. Let's start here with Bootstrap. Invented by employees at the Twitter company, they created what is the world's most popular CSS framework. What's a framework going to do for you? It's going to format everything. It's going to make your grids look responsive. It's going to just make your site consistent. And so Bootstrap has done a great job in solving this problem for millions of websites. Here's some examples of what Bootstrap can make your site look like. So let's pick this one called Pricing. So you can see everything is clean, well organized, the margins are well done, the fonts are consistent, the color scheme is good. You've probably seen something like this site before because Bootstrap is extremely popular. So that's part of its advantage is that it's easy to get information and examples of how to use it Every user can use it from the very beginner. The disadvantage is that since everybody uses it, all websites start to look similar. And so if you want a creative website, Bootstrap's not for you. If you're just trying to get started and make something look good with little effort, then Bootstrap's a great way to get started. I use Bootstrap in teaching all of my classes because most of my students are fairly new at working with CSS. The second framework that we're looking at is called Materialize. So Materialize comes from Google designers. You can see right away that part of the signature part of Materialize are these shadowy buttons and these uh, nice responsive things when you hover over them. So if you've looked at an Android app, you're looking at Materialize styling. So I'm in the About section. So these are some of the principles that they're relying on. Once again, we see a common color scheme. We see bold, graphic, intentional. This is supposed to look like the building blocks, like simple, obvious, very clear design. And so a lot of people like this because it, is, it looks good on mobile phones as well as it looks on websites. A third framework that I've worked with many times is Foundation from Zurb. And now Foundation is a direct competitor to Bootstrap and the others. So some of the things that uh, Foundation is known for is its flexibility and some of its professional looking websites. And so they have a beautiful gallery of examples of people that have used their framework to create their site. And so you can see that it's very flexible, very powerful, and very, very beautiful. So in comparing all three of these, they all have things that are grids. They work with a, the column format. They all work with CSS, with SAS and LAS and the other ways that you can do your more advanced CSS. All three of these have many different components from alerts to badges to things that they would all work well with. So, so carousels and managing pictures and all of these things. So you will not miss anything if you choose any one of these three. They all have the components you need for your website. So it's going to come up to what you're good at, what you're used to, and what styles that you prefer. So I'm going to pull up a project that I recently did with my students using a nav bar from Bootstrap. Let me show you what you're probably going to have to learn when you talk about a framework for CSS. I have a nav bar, and you can see all of the tags in here have things that say nav bar, nav bar expand large, nav bar light, BG light. So that is background light, the light style of the, of the nav bar, the nav bar expanded large, it means it's going to be the largest one on the screen, and so all of these custom tags here, like nav items and nav items and then drop down, these are all classes that are unique to Bootstrap. So what you're going to get with this nav bar looks like this right here. You can see that there's a drop down and a search box and all of the code here. So once you learn all of the tags, such as the collapse and the nav link, and so these are all specific names in Bootstrap. And it seems like once you get used to some of these things, such as containers and columns and all of the rest of the things that you always have to work with in CSS, and you learn them in Bootstrap, you might not be wanting to go learn a whole bunch more in another framework. However, 
they're just arbitrary names. So if we were to look at the materialized CSS framework, and I'm looking at an example for a card, you would see a very similar thing. So their class, they would call it row, column, S12, M6. So this would mean that in a uh, screen of different sizes, you're going to have different amounts of, of screen space taken up by the card. So in a small screen, it's going to take up all 12 columns, which is the entire width. In a medium screen, it's going to take up six of the uh, 12 columns. So it'll take up half the screen. So the card will wrap. Now, these tags here are slightly different names than if you were to use Bootstrap or Foundation. And so your, your, speci your specific names here have to deal with the framework that you've learned. But they're all pretty much going to accomplish some of the same goals. So learning one framework and then the second framework, it's not going to be too hard. So if we were to go into the Zurb Foundation documentation and to look at what a card looks like, you will see something similar. So they have class names like card, and then they actually put some styles in here. They have a card divider, and then you can see the results down below. So each of these frameworks is going to work with the same kind of components with slightly different terminology of how they size them and where they put them on the page. So let me tell you my personal preferences. We've looked at Bootstrap, Materialize, and Zurb Foundation. I've taught all three of these with my students. I tend to stick with Bootstrap. My preference there is because I want to do something that is familiar and quick. I'm not an artistic kind of a instructor. I'm more of a technical person. And so we want to get our tables looking good in a hurry. Now, if I were teaching over in the College of Fine Arts, we might not teach any of these. We would try to create our CSS from scratch and learn every part of the details that go with it. However, due to a lack of time, our CSS work here in the College of Programming and Computer Science is focusing more on the algorithms and the databases behind our websites. So that's why we would pick Bootstrap. However, I would think that uh, Materialize or, or Zurb Foundation would be just as valid or some other framework that I haven't mentioned here. I've just mentioned three very popular ones. However, they're all going to work well for you.